Okay, so let me ask you this. Can you name the basic tastes? Sweet, sour, yeah, those are the easy ones. Salty, good, and yes, bitter. But wait a second, there's one more. Umami. Yes, umami is the fifth basic taste. So where did this umami come from? The backstory is quite simple. It begins with glutamate, an amino acid that's found in many foods, including milk and tomatoes and mushrooms and cheese and, hmm, MSG. More about that later. Special receptors on the tongue are perfect fits for glutamate. When they find it in food, they grab a hold and hang on for dear life, creating the wonderful, delicious sensation called umami. And the more glutamate, the richer the flavor. Aged cheeses have more glutamate than young. Ripened tomatoes, more than green. Cured meats, you get the picture. Our bodies won't function without glutamate, but most of what we eat is gobbled up by cells in our GI tract for energy, sadly leaving our bodies to manufacture the amino acid on its own. Back to food sources. Another way to enhance that rich taste experience is by sprinkling on, and maybe you're hearing it here first, MSG. Yes, MSG stands for monosodium glutamate, a complicated way of saying glutamate with the sodium on the end. MSG glutamate is exactly the same, identical as what's in food, and it participates in the same love affair with receptors on our tongue. Some call it the purest form of umami. But what about the years of baggage? The flushing, the hives, the headaches, the Chinese restaurant syndrome. Well, that whole thing began as speculation and grew bigger than life over the years. But as we learn more about glutamate, the experts say it just doesn't add up. Glutamate is glutamate, whether it comes from Parmesan cheese or a shaker. And blind studies show that for most people, if they don't know MSG is in their food, the symptoms mysteriously don't appear. That's why groups like the World Health Organization and US FDA have given it the safe stand. And although it goes by different names and comes in different forms, glutamate ingredients like MSG have been enjoyed for years in different countries, in different cultures, by different civilizations, for centuries. So go ahead, indulge your palate, add flavor to your dishes. Your tongue is designed to react to all five tastes, not just one or two. So check it out and enjoy.